Well, I'm back, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, too. So when did you know you were playing? I've been known. I just kept a secret. <laughs> How did it feel having a game like that, especially at home? Uh, it, it, it was really nice. Uh, just to come back, you know, have my family and friends, everybody out here uh, watching, and uh, for us to be able to put on a performance like we did tonight, uh, it, it was it was really one that'll be remembered. Brett, did your elbow give you any issues during the game, or were you good? Nah, not not much. Um, you know, obviously there was a couple throws where I feel like I'm missing. You know, you got to get used to the elbow and, uh, and stuff like that. It sort of messes with your weight and stuff like that and weight distribution as you throw. But um, for the most part, everything was pretty smooth and. You know, we just uh, had a good game tonight. <laughs> what do you think of some of those plays your receivers made downfield? Man, uh, I mean, I give all the credit to the receivers in the O-line tonight. Uh, you know, I told them, obviously, uh, with the elbow. Well, I guess I, I'm still running today. But, um, <laughs> but uh, you know, uh, they, they stepped up for me. They stepped up huge. And, you know, that's the one thing Coach Moore told me, told me was let them make plays. And uh, they came out today and they made plays. The O-line did a great job, led by Jake Brendel. Malcolm, Alex, uh, Scott, Caleb, and then JP, Eldridge, everybody on the, on the receiving court did a great job for us tonight. Thomas Dorte was telling us that you were particularly amped up yeah. before the game for yeah. this one. What was, what was different aside from just being at home? Was it uh, coming off of the injury that meant something to come on? Uh, there was a lot of talking, I guess you could say. <laughs> there was a lot of talking. Um, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, we got to come out here and play football. Uh, and that's really, you know, it, it just excites me just to be able to come back home and, and like I said, come back in front of my family, uh, those who can't make it to California every week and, or else when we travel, uh, to be able to play in front of them uh, another time and um, just to get a win and, uh, and a win like this. Do you like seeing that UCLA at mixed field uh, pregame? Excuse me? The UCLA and the pitchfork? Uh, yeah, we saw that. <laughs> We're saying you did it. No, no. <laughs> Rich, you guys beat him with a lot of big plays tonight, five over 80 yards. Talk about the explosiveness of the, the Bruins as a whole. Um, you know, it, 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 like I said, it comes down to the whole line again. Everything we did uh, started with them. And um, for us to be able to get time back there and get those holes open, Paul Perkins making that long run, and uh, Jordan Payton uh, catching a lot of balls and just taking them uh, the distance, and Eldridge on that catch too. Um, you know, it just shows how explosive we can be as an offense, and that's sort of how we like to work. Is you know we'll take we'll take what the defense gives us, but they you know if they screw up once, miss a tackle, we should be able to take the distance like we did tonight. Greg, why are you guys so much better right now than you were at the opener? Um, you know, I, th I think we just came out and, and really executed. Our game plan, uh, Virginia, obviously, is first game, a lot of uh, rustiness you got to get off. But, um, you know, week in and week out, we I feel like we've gotten better as as a team. And uh, we just continue that trend and uh, peak at the right time. How satisfying is it to win that game like that, especially after this team knocked you guys out of the Pac-12 South last year? Very satisfying. <laughs> Can't tell you now. <laughs> Very satisfying. Um, but, like I said, they're a great, uh, great team. Uh, they have a bright future ahead of them. And, uh, you know, we're happy just to come in and, and get this victory. Is this the best offensive line has played this year? Uh, man, you know, they, they've actually played really well, I feel like, this year. But today they really, you know, came out and, and, and had their day. They had their night tonight. And, um, you know, I, like I said, I give them all the credit. They came out and, and, and you know, helped me out a lot and, and just made this offense work. How close are you guys to your potential? We're very close. We're very close. And, you know, we, we just also made a lot of mistakes, penalties. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff we can still clean up in this film. But, um, you know, when you have Ishmael back there on defense and, and kick return um, and our defense playing the way they're playing and offense playing the way they're playing, as, as we just keep getting better, um, the sky's the limit. Even though there were mistakes, zero turnovers. It's special, that's big, especially yeah. on the road. Yeah, huge. And to come into this stadium, obviously it was a blackout game. And, uh, you know, everybody – coming. I mean, people getting off of work for this game. Um, you know, there, there was a lot of stuff uh, building up for this game. And, you know, for us to be able to come in here uh, and, and, and come out with a win like we did was, was huge for this team. It spoke a lot. You had that run earlier where you hurdled the guy and then you took a pretty good shot. How yeah. much did that help your confidence maybe going through the game beyond that? Uh, I got to stop hurdling uh, <laughs> people. But, um, you know, I'm playing football. Uh, like I said, I can't. Uh, not do what I like doing and how I like playing. Obviously, I have to stop eventually. But um, you know, it, it it just you know it's, it's just us having fun out there, and it's just me going running around having fun out there, and that's that's sort of what I want to do this game is not come in and, and, and think that I'm limiting myself by not running or something like that. You know, I want to be able to show that I can still run the ball and and, and do the, all the things that you know God has blessed me to do. You said before that you haven't reached your full potential as a team. There was a 
for about 20 minutes. You guys put up 42 points. You don't think that's as good as you guys could get? And that's we can get better. <laughs> uh, we, we can get better. Um, and, and like I said, you know, going to the first drive, we had all those penalties and, and just small mistakes here and there. But I feel like we can be a better team if, if we just play a complete game. I mean, we, we can be a really good team. Um, I, I don't know. I guess I guess just really understanding our game plan, really uh, studying a little bit more, and, and just just uh, trusting the next man. I think just everybody doing their job, and that's what we got to do. You took huh? a good shot on the late hit. On, did he get you right on the elbow? Yeah, yeah. But um, you know, like I said, it's football. Obviously, I knew I was going to get hit sometime on it. <laughs> uh, so uh, luckily, I had the padding, and massive amounts of padding. So it's cool. <laughs> What's that brace like? It looks almost like bionic. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Um, and that's why it sort of affects you throwing. But um, it is bionic. It's it's uh, one of a kind, customized. Um, and like I said, it's just an elbow brace. <laughs> How does it affect you throwing? Like what in particular? Uh, it, obviously, there's limitations as far as where you can move your arm and what you want to do with your arm when you're throwing and the throwing position you got to be in. But, um, you know, obviously, there was. Uh, uh, there was about three things on the elbow trying to protect it, so um, there was a lot of limit in, in movement, but uh, at the end of the day, obviously, we got the job done, and I was able to sling around a little bit, but um, obviously, weight and, 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 and sort of how you move your arms when you're throwing. How, how much has Jordan Baden kind of changed this year compared to last year in terms of being a good yeah, guy? Yeah, he's balling. He's balling, uh, <laughs> to say the least. Um, he's doing a great job, and um, you know he's just one of those players. You know something special is going to come just because how hard he works. I mean, he's in there all the time watching film. He probably watches as much film as I do, maybe. Um, <laughs> but like I said, he's going to be a great player for us. He's having an amazing season. I think he had like 151 yards receiving, five catches, and uh, two touchdowns, and that's that's pretty big. When you scored that touchdown, came off of the celebration, tapping that that injury on. Yeah, but. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just man, I'm not. I'm not limiting myself. Basically, I think a lot of people thought I was gonna come out and and sort of be one dimensional, I guess. And you know, to be able to come out here and show that you know sometimes you got to play through pain. And um, you know, the team obviously, offensive line doing a great job like they did. They allowed me to come out here and and, and play my game, play my full game. You said there was a lot of talking. Is there like bitterness between you two teams or something? No, nah, I. I don't want to call it. I mean, it is a call it a rivalry, but um, I guess it's just always tension before the game, um, and you know, s stuff is said. But um, you know, at the end of the day, we just got to go out and, and you got to put it on the football field. Was that prior to the UCLA being on their fourth or after? Uh, I think it was prior. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <Didn't know. Yeah. laughs> Do you have a lot of family and friends here tonight? Yeah, a lot. Um, Chandler High, all of them came out and represented very well, and. Um, Coach Aguano, um, all my family, uh, you know, they came out and, you know, I was just glad to be able to get all of them, the ones that can't make it out to California all the time, to be able to watch me play. Probably the last.